here at the one-to-one -one mining conference in London. Can you give us a background to Trilogy? Sure, we're uh, developing the Amber Mining District in northern Alaska, uh, focused on advancing two specific projects. Uh, the Arctic project is uh, at feasibility stage. Uh, had a very busy season this year doing uh, a lot of fe feasibility level engineering and environmental work and getting ourselves ready to, one, complete the feasibility, but also then initiate the permitting process uh, next year. So uh, that's kept us pretty busy, but we've also been uh, drilling on our uh, exploration project, which is about 20 miles away, called the Bornei Project. And uh, we had a very successful uh, year there. We've been drilling, uh, re releasing drill results uh, over the course of the last several months, and we'll have a, a couple more uh, releases on uh, drill results, and then we'll start working towards uh, completing a, a resource update and a, and a preliminary economic assessment on Bornite to uh, give the market a value metric for our Bornite project. So, busy year. Absolutely. What's the what's the core focus of the company? Uh, it's uh, copper, and uh, we're we have a, about a 10 billion pound copper uh, store even in the Ambler Mining District. So. Uh, Copper is our main metal. We produce, uh, we'll produce a significant amount of uh, zinc, uh, precious metals, and cobalt from the two different deposits. So, uh, um, yeah, it's a bit of a broad spectrum of uh, of metals, but uh, we like the mix. And how do you see the market at the moment? Well, the market's not been in a very good mood this year. Uh, we've actually held up very well uh, from a share price standpoint. Uh, we've been putting out a, a lot of news and uh, a lot of positive news. Uh, but in general, I'd say the market's uh, um, been pretty tepid, and uh, I think we're all looking forward to a day when people realize that we actually do need a lot of metals, and specifically things like copper and cobalt for electric vehicles, battery storage, and alternative energy. So uh, we think the future is pretty bright, just uh, investors need, need a little bit of a push, I think. Absolutely, so what message are you trying to get across to investors at one to one uh, That we're um, a, a pretty good discount value story. Uh, we're trading at a significant discount to our uh, our net asset value and uh, of the one project, and we have the other project that's at, exp ex at expiration stage. Arctic's a $1.4 billion um, post-tax NPV 8% discount, 33% IRR, so it's a high quality project. And we're trading at about 0.2 NAV on that, so um, we've got a long way to go. Um, and uh, but that's good, because uh, we, uh, we need to get out to venues like this and get our message out and uh, meet one-on-one -on -one with investors. And how are you finding the one-to-one -one conference so far? Well, business is, uh, uh, is about building relationships, and so this is a great format to do that. Uh, we like the one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, meeting venues. The, the sp it's been called the speed dating venue. It's, uh, it works quite well to get to know your shareholders and get to know new investors. Thank you very much. You bet.